With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, I am your teacher for this question and the question says 2 gram of sample contains mixture of silica and Fe2O3 on very strong heating. It leaves a residue weighing 1.96 gram and the reaction which is responsible for the loss of mass is Fe2O3 solid changes to Fe3O4 solid and O2 gaseous. So what is the percent by mass of silica present in the original sample? So according to question in the 2 gram sample of silica and Fe2O3 which is on which strong heating it leaves a residue of 1.96 gram and the reaction which is responsible for the mass of loss is this and we have to calculate the percentage by mass of silica present in the sample so 2 gram sample containing Fe2O3 and silica when it is heated it leaves a residue whose weight is 1.96 gram so we can calculate the loss in weight on heating it will be 2 gram minus 1.96 gram which is equal to 0 0.04 gram and it is given that the loss of mass is responsible due to this reaction that is Fe2O3 solid changes to Fe3O4 solid plus oxygen gaseous as oxygen is in gaseous form it will leave the sample but this will remain in the residue so the loss in weight is mainly due to the oxygen so if we calculate the amount of oxygen which is evolved from the sample we can calculate the amount of Fe2O3 present in the sample so we will proceed as by balancing the reaction as half mole of oxygen is produced by 3 moles of Fe2O3. Half mole of oxygen is produced by 3 mole of Fe2O3. So its 1 mole will be 1 mole of oxygen is produced by 3 into 2 moles of Fe2O3 and then moles of oxygen which are evolved from the sample can be calculated from the weight of the loss in weight of the sample to its molecular weight of the oxygen so we can calculate here the number of moles of oxygen number of moles of oxygen will be equal to its given weight that is 0 0.05 gram to its molecular weight that is 32 gram per mole so it will be equal to 0 0.00 one to five moles it means these many moles are present when the this amount of is lost from the sample so 0 0.00125 to five mole of oxygen is produced from how many moles of fe2o3 it would be equal to 0 0.00125 into six moles of fe2o3 which is equals to 0 0.0075 moles of Fe2O3. Now, in the sample, these many moles of Fe2O3 are present. So, we can calculate its weight by weight or Fe2O3 as number of moles is equals to given weight divided by its molecular weight so we have the number of moles of Fe2O3 by multiplying it with its molecular weight we can have the weight of Fe2O3 present in the sample so its molecular weight is 160 gram per mole so when we multiply the number of moles of Fe2O3 by its molecular weight that is 160 gram per mole it will be equal to 1.2 gram it means the amount of iron oxide present in the sample 2 gram sample is 1.2 gram so now we can calculate the amount or weight of silica present we can calculate this by 2 gram minus 1.2 gram as the total sample is 2 gram and 
Fe2O3 present is 1.2 grams, so it will be 0.8 grams. But we have to calculate here the mass percentage, not the amount or weight. So the mass percent of silica will be 0.8 gram upon 2 gram that is total sample. So it will give us the percentage of silica present in the total sample. So it will be 40 percent. It means the mass percent of silica is mass percent of SiO2 in sample is 40 percent. So I hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.